Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It's Mike with SmartOptionTrading.com. It's Wednesday, January 31st, the last trading day of the month. It's been a wild one here in the markets. Um, we had earnings last night. We have the Fed today. Here's the Fed announcement, no change. Here's when Powell started speaking. He was talking, man, he was talking out both sides of his butt at the same time. In the same breath, he'd say something positive for the market, something negative. The market was buying into it. Started to come in as he got a little bit more negative. And right in here, about 32 minutes in or so is when he finally came out and said, I do not foresee a rate cut in March. And that was the big drop in the market, pushed up a little bit. And we come down, we just put a new low here with about 20 minutes to go on the day. You can see here, we have a little bit of a gap down now here. And um, we're under the eight day and at this point and above the 21 day. The good news is this, it's January. And as the month of January goes, so goes the market. And right now the market's gonna close green for the month of January. 475.31 was the December close on December 31st. Uh, unless we get some kind of unbelievable sell-off here in the last 20 minutes, we're going to close above that. And that should bode well for the rest of the year. The SMH is today, despite um, AMD's earnings yesterday, only down a little bit, holding in much better. The Q's getting hit pretty good here, almost to the 21-day. The IWM still cannot find a friend. It looks like it wants to revisit the 50-day. Energy, despite oil having pushed up, coming back in. The financials uh, had a nice day yesterday, but giving it back here today. You know, today was very, very choppy. You know, the names that reported last night, we went over this in the room, but, you know, Microsoft, it was a fine report. Guidance, uh, that you know, guidance was... A little light. When I mean a little light, it was, you know, in the range, but on the lower end of the median of the range. Their costs are up, but their AI, they're starting to make money on AI. It was just not enough here for this move. So you have a nasty candle here on Microsoft. And we talked in the room pre-market that Microsoft tends to sell off on earnings days. So from a new all-time high, it popped on the open, gave a quick, you know, you had to be quick. It gave a quick five-minute trade, and then boom. Down, here we are below the eight day, and you now you start looking down here towards the 21 day there. Google, they didn't like that report at all. I got to tell you, I didn't like that report at all. And Google's come crashing back in here, and um, you've left a little island top. And what that means is you have a gap here. You see this little gap we created right here, and you pushed up. You had five days up, and you gapped down. That means everybody that was long is now sitting up here trapped this morning. And Google looking awfully weak. We have that gap to trade against the... 50 day your next target there. AMD, you know, what can I say? The the earnings weren't bad. They got it down for the first quarter. In all right, they should be getting creamed. AMD should be down 20% and is not down from yesterday's close. It almost went green this morning, got back to the eight day before coming in here. Uh, you know, there was one line Lisa Sue said last night, and Lisa Sue said we're anticipating in excess of $3.5 billion now for data center translation AI versus 2 billion said about a month ago. And th that's for 2024. And, you know, and that's what the market's focused on. So tomorrow night we have Apple, Amazon, and Meta, the last of the big three. You know, uh, we'll see where we go from here with those. Boeing here today, you know, up on a better than expected report, taking blame for the Alaska air flight, but you know, Maxers are getting recertified and back in the air. We'll see this, you know, this should be something that should pass. And if it does, they have plenty of orders out there to push back up. You know, to me right now, when you look at the market, the worst thing that could happen here is we don't get a pullback. You know, the market looks like it wants to pull back, doesn't look like it wants to give it. And we go back to this, we're going to trade the big seven names, those big tech names and ignore everything else again. Uh, really, the market is overdue for a pullback, doesn't want to give one. You know, you either want the market to pull back here or to break out and go nuts. And right now, it kind of just wants to sit here. We'll see if this action leads to some weaker price action. We got big earnings tomorrow night, jobs number on Friday. I hope everybody's doing well. Link to, the, my, link to my trading room in the description below if you want to join us.